Hi, I'm Dan Hernandez. I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of Sport Fishing. Well, today we're fishing aboard the Mirage. We're at Santa Rosa Island. And what we'll be doing today is fishing for rockfish, looking for a variety of rockfish, and you never know, maybe an exotic or two. And this is what we'll be fishing for. We've got a little double right here. We've got a red snapper and a, another rockfish right there. So this is what we'll be doing. We'll be fishing aboard the Mirage today out here at Santa Rosa Island. Maybe if we get lucky through this wind, we'll go over to San Miguel, but I think we'll be staying here today. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. Welcome to Sport Fishing with Dan Hernandez. This week's episode of Sport Fishing is brought to you by Turner's Outdoorsman for all your fishing and hunting needs, by B-52 Bucktails and Magic Metal Jigs, by Yamaha, reliability starts here, by Game Saver for preserving your fishing game, and by Dan Hernandez Baja Style Fish Batter. Yeah, it feels a little heavy. See, there are fish are about five lines. I'm not sure. Well, it's August. Can you believe it's August? We got fog. We got wind. Feels like it's April here. We should be having like 90 degree weather right now, and everybody's got two jackets on. There we go. Good fish, Mike. If you don't want that, I'll take that for you. I got something. <laughs> I don't think it's very big. Though. Oh, there it is. Another tree. <laughs> nice. There we go. Here's my fish. We got a fish going here. Here it comes. Little rockfish. Got him. Three fish right here on the bucktail. That's a B-52 bucktail, half ounce model with the whole squid pinned on there. That fish will cook up delicious. All right, well, let's take a little break from the action here on the Mirage at Santa Rosa Island and go to the tackle box and show you the gear we're using for today's type of fishing. This week, the tackle box is brought to you by Cabela. America's foremost outfit. This week in the Tackle Box, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today up in Channel Islands. Now, we're fishing for rockfish, not rock cod like the old days when you fish really deep. In California, you can't go over 320 feet, so you can get away with lighter gear, and that's what I have here. This is a brand new Shakespeare Dan Hernandez signature rod, rated 40 to 50 pound test line, matched up with the Pin Torque 300 with 40 pound test line, monofilament. If you wanted to use braid, you could go ahead and put 80, 100 pound braid on there. Would work great, it's nice thin line, get that, your lures down there really quick. And, but I would put a little bit of monofilament on top of it 
because you want a little bit of stretch when the fish are pulling. That's the rod and reel that you want to use. Now as far as catching the fish, the rig you're going to use, you can go ahead and use a two hook rig with either live bait or cut bait, but my favorite way, and I think you get bigger fish, is using artificial jigs. I like to use the Magic Metals. You can go with the 10 ounce model jig. I like to go with the glow in the dark. Go either the red or the blue glow in the dark. They both work great down that deeper water. And then I would like to use a bucktail too at the same time. So I have the metal jig on the bottom and then the bucktail up in the dropper loop. So the way you tie this up really quick is you just take your dropper loop rig, put your bucktail in the center of it, and instead of putting a single hook there, we're going to put the bucktail, B-52 bucktail, just slide that bucktail right through the loop. And before you cinch it down, you want to wet it. And then on the other end, go ahead and tie on the metal jig. And you can use any knot that you like. Now, this one that I'm rigging up here is a little close. If I was actually fishing with it, I'd have probably another foot of space in between the metal jig and the bucktail. Cut off this tag in right here. And this is the way it would look. You'd have your metal jig right on the bottom in the rocks, right off the structure where those big lean cod and the big rock fish live. And then dangling above it would be your B-52 bucktail. And you just want that in the current. And again, we're using the bucktail because if you had a single hook, Fish bites off that squid, bites off that anchovy, that hook's just dangling there, you're not going to get bit. But because of the bucktail, it's going to flow around down there in the water, and it's going to attract fish, and the fish are going to come hit it. Again, I would pin on a strip of squid or, or strip of mackerel on there. That would work good, because you need that on there. But this is a real basic gear, and once you get it to the bottom, you just want to wind it up a few cranks, drop it back down, wind it up, drop it back down. You want that jig to work on the bottom, as it looks like it's coming up trying to escape from the fish, the lean cod love that, and they'll just attack and jump all over it. And you can catch reds, everything on this rig works out really good. doesn't matter if you're fishing up in Central California, up in the Bay Area, or where we are today down here in Southern California or at the Channel Islands, this is a perfect outfit. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. This week's Boat Bio is brought to you by Magic Metal Jigs, and B-52 Bucktail Jigs. The Mirage is a large sport fisher that operates daily out of Oxnard, California. She offers both coastal trips and offshore trips out to the Channel Island. It's a great vessel for fishing for white sea bass, rockfish, or any of the fish that you can find there in this part of the country. She has plenty of deck space, lots of room for your fishing tackle and fishing rods, and large bait tanks too. In the wheelhouse, you'll find all the modern electronics for navigation, communications, and for fish finding. For your next fishing charter, book a trip aboard the Mirage.
type of fishing you want to make sure you have semi-heavy gear you got a reel that whole 30 pound test line what I have on here is 50 pound uh, spectra braided line for my main line and then I have 30 pound for the leader so I got a double dropper loop rig with B52 bucktails and I'm getting bit see my rod tip just shaking really hard that's all fish right there just put the reel in gear and wind and it uh, doesn't feel like anything big, but we'll see what these guys are. Looks like Barb's got a nicer fish going there. Short link cod. Oh, and a gopher. And a gopher. It's something different this time. I've been catching all tree fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and release these guys right now. This one's too short. You gotta be 20, what, 28 or 26? 24. 24. This guy's legal, but we got a whole bunch of bigger ones. My name is Tucker McCombs. I'm the captain on the Mirage here. We're out here at Santa Rosa Island. We're uh, fishing for rockfish right now. We've been fishing pretty shallow here at Santa Rosa, at the you know the southwest side of Santa Rosa. We're pretty close to donut rockfish. We're probably gonna go down the island and try to catch a, a calico bass for a little bit before we go home. Wanted to kind of get up here and uh, where we've been having better rock fishing. You know, fish the shallow water. We had a lot of sheephead and you know nice lean cod. That's what we've been doing most of the day here. See what I got going this time. I hate to say it, but it's probably a tree fish. But let's see. Oh no, it's not. There's just a big, beautiful sheep head just cut out here. That little B52 bucktail had a whole squid pinned on, and the sheep head couldn't pass it up. These are delicious. Well, we're going to take a little break from the action here, fishing board the Mirage, and we're going to go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these delicious rockfish that we're catching today here at Santa Rosa Island. This week, the galley is brought to you by Dan Hernandez Baja style fish batter and dipping sauces. This week in the galley, we're down in Long Beach on my boat and standing next to me is chef Keith Allman. And Keith, thanks for coming down today. Thank you. And what is it you have in store for us? Today, we're gonna make rockfish fritters. Cool. Yeah. I've never so, heard of that combination before. Well, it's a great one. You're going to love it, Dan. Okay. We're going to start with eight ounces of rockfish, a half cup of the Dan Hernandez fish batter, a quarter cup of onions, an egg, handful of cilantro, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and a half teaspoon of salt, and a clove of garlic. We also have a half cup of milk. But the first thing we want to do is get our pan started. This is heating up. We're going to add quarter cup of vegetable oil. Don't think about using some oil spray out of a can for this dish. You need a good glog of oil for these fritters. Okay, let's add our ingredients to the food processor. Our fish. And what does the fish batter do? It kind of gives it the mashed potatoes consistency that we're looking for for a fritter. It's going to combine with all the ingredients and 
bind it all together. And the spices they have in the fish powder mm. and all that. Absolutely. <laughs> That's gonna add a lot more flavor than flour ordinarily would. Some onions. I guess you don't have to cut that up too much since we're gonna use the food processor. Exactly. Let it do all the work. An egg, hit it on a flat surface so that the shell doesn't go into the egg and then into the dish. Okay, and a little bit of milk. I'm just gonna add a little bit at first. Give it a whirl and we'll add a little bit later, more later. So Keith, what are you looking for when you open this up? We're looking for a mashed potato consistency. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna reserve the milk that we have okay. and use this. Okay, using the spoon. Okay, I think these are ready to flip. Oh, perfect, golden brown. So we're not using much oil, just a little bit of oil. Just a little bit, but you don't want to use too little oil for this dish. Okay, Dan, I think these are ready. Cool. I've never seen this dish before. Look how golden brown and beautiful that is. Yeah, that looks delicious. Awesome. I know today we're using rockfish, but you said you can use almost any fish? Mm -hmm. Raw or cooked. Oh, yeah, and it can even be cooked before. Mm -hmm. And one of the important ingredients, again, was my fish batter. Let's serve this with lots of lemons. Okay. There you go, yeah, let's try that. And a little cilantro. Cilantro is just going to get in the way for me eating this piece <laughs> of fish. That is good. Okay. I've never had anything like that. Glad you enjoy it. That's great, Keith. Thanks a lot. It's a great dish. Thank nice, you. simple dish, something you can do at home or even on your own boat like we're doing today. Again, one of the Korean ingredients was my Dan Hernandez fish batter. Find it at your local store, All Turner's Outdoorsman store, and on our website too. Well, thanks again. And let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Jumping on. Calico there. Full bass. Full bass. Full bass. Oh, that's clear. Check it. Beautiful. Nice full awesome. bass. Cool. Got it. Calico! On the gaff. Uh -huh. Take it, Captain. Good job, Barb. Good job, Captain. There we go. The skipper just made a move, and now we slid into the island. We're really close, fishing the kelp beds right along the edge, and fishing a half ounce bucktail with the live squid pin on. And I got nailed, and now he's wrapped in the kelp. So what I'm gonna do is put my reel in freeze pool, Give him some line and let the fish find the opening. There he goes, shake his head. There he comes. Ooh. There he comes. Got him out. Got him out. What is it? Whitefish? It is. Nice grass bass. Ooh, man. Holy. There we go. Grass <laughs> That's a heck of a grass bass, man. Woo! And a bucktail. Two? Yeah. One ounce. Straight up and down. Well, That'd be a good steamer, huh? $20 a pound you sell for a live. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice grass bass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a nice fish. They got that. Just fishing this bucktail. Did you get a piece of bait on Yeah, I had a whole squid on there. Right. You got it right there, B52. That's a nice fish. All right, when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. Woo!
This week's tip of the week is brought to you by Magic Metal Jigs and Bucktail Jigs. For this week's tip of the week, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what happened today aboard the Mirage. You know, today's trip is one of those freelance trips. You never know what to expect. We started out looking for some white sea bass. Conditions were bad, so we went rock fishing. We fished the far end of Santa Rosa, going toward uh, San Miguel, and that's where we got all those quality fish. And we just about limited out there, so the skipper said, let's make a move. We went right inside, tight to the island, on the other side of the island, looking for those calico bass, and we finished off our rockfish limits there. It was just great fishing. And this week's tip is, you got to bring a variety of tackle. You got to bring the heavy stuff, so when you're fishing for those rockfish and the link on the deep water, and you got to bring some light stuff like this, just in case you go inside and fish the kelp beds. And that's what we did today. We fished everything from 30 and 40 pound tests you know, outside to 15 and 20 pound tests inside for those calicos. And all the fish I caught today was on the bucktails, B-52 bucktails. Used the small ones offshore and the outer deeper water for those rockfish and tight to the island. Actually went with a little bit bigger ones, one and two ounce models to catch those quality fish. Well, that's this week's tip of the week. I'd like to thank the crew of the Mirage. We had a great time fishing with them. All the guys are a lot of fun. We fished with them in the past before. And the galley is a lot of fun too. And then all the pastors came out with us. There's just a mix of people, big variety of people from all over Southern California. One guy from out of state that came out and joined us today. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing. And I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.